morning, we'll go ahead and get started. So we'll start by settling the body, finding a stable, comfortable, upright position, serviceable for meditation. So think about keeping our feet flat and our back straight, torso open. Hands in the lap right over left with the palms upturned and the thumbs gently touching. Our eyes are gently closed or slightly open, making sure we let in enough light to remain alert. We try to avoid slouching or leaning. We also let go of any unnecessary tension or rigidity in the body. Relaxing into a stable, comfortable, upright position. Just allowing the body to fall into place. Then begin to let go of attending to the environment, allowing sights and sounds to be as they are without investigation. Constraining your awareness just to the body and mind. Concentrating that awareness in the present by attending closely to the physical sensation of the air moving into and back out of the tip of the nostrils. Noticing quickly when anything other than that one physical sensation is arising in the mind. And without judgment or frustration, lifting your awareness up from those distractions and placing it gently but firmly again and again on the breath.
And then when the mind feels more calm and generate a broad altruistic motivation, thinking of using this time to cultivate constructive states of mind, those that allow oneself to remain connected to a sense of peace and ease, states of mind that naturally, spontaneously give rise to actions that are beneficial for others. Wanting to reduce the influence of states of mind that are not beneficial or constructive, those that agitate and disturb one's own peace of mind, those that when they arise often give rise to actions that cause harm to others. Thinking of engaging in this process of genuine inner transformation in order to be of greater and greater benefit to sentient beings. that motivation, we will try to draw close to the energy of beneficial activity as embodied in Bodhatara. So we visualize ourselves in a large open space. We visualize Bodhatara in that space in front, life size, six to eight feet away. Emerald green in color seated on a lotus and moon. Thinking that she is the manifestation of all the Buddhas, omniscient love and compassion, and is in the nature of light. Her left leg is drawn up, signifying her control over the energy of desire. Her right leg is extended, indicating that she's ready to rise for the aid of all sentient beings. Her left hand is at her heart in the refuge gesture palm facing outward thumb and ring finger joint, the remaining three fingers raised. Her right hand is on her right knee in the gesture of granting sublime realizations, palm facing out with the three, with the fingers loosely pointed down. In each hand, she holds the stem of a blue Utpala flower. She's beautifully adorned with silk garments and jewel ornaments. And her smiling face radiates love and compassion. So we'll pause and try to stabilize that visualization, thinking strongly that through the force of our concentration, 
but Atara's living presence is invoked. And then we visualize all human, all sentient beings in human form surrounding you, your loved ones behind you, those that you find difficult in front, and all other sentient beings surrounding in all directions, as far as the eye can see. And if you would like, you can join into the refuge in Bodhicitta prayer. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving another perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving another perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. I go for refuge until I am enlightened to the Buddha, the Dharma, and the Supreme Assembly. By my practice of giving and other perfections, may I become a Buddha in order to benefit all sentient beings. And then the four immeasurable thoughts. May all sentient beings have happiness and the causes of happiness. May all sentient beings be free from suffering and the causes of suffering. May all sentient beings be inseparable from the happiness that is free from suffering. May all sentient beings abide in equanimity, free from attachment and anger but hold some close and others distant.
and then the seven limb prayer. Reverently I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I declare all my negative actions accumulated since beginning this time and rejoice in the merit of all holy and ordinary beings. Please remain until the end of cyclic existence and turn the wheel of Dharma for living beings. I dedicate my own merits and those of all others to the great enlightenment. And the mandala offering. This ground anointed with perfume, strewn with flowers, adorned with Mount Meru, four continents, the sun and the moon. I imagine this as a Buddha field and offer it. May all living beings enjoy this pure land. Idam Guru Ratna Mandala Kamiriyatayami. We're focusing again on the visualization of Buddha Tara. Think of a heartfelt request that you have for your life. A supplication to Buddha Tara. Holding that request in mind, I'll we'll recite a short prayer to Buddha Tara. Om, my prostrate to the goddess foe destroyer, liberating Lady Tara, homage to Tare, savioress, heroine, with Tutare, dispelling all fears, granting all benefits with Ture. To her with sound soha, I bow. O oh, my prostrate to the goddess foe destroyer, liberating Lady Tara, homage to Tare, savioress, heroine, with Tutare dispelling all fears, granting all benefits with Ture, to her with sound soha I bow. O oh, my prostrate to the goddess foe destroyer, liberating Lady Tara, homage to Tare, savioress, heroine, with Tutare, dispelling all fears, granting all benefits with Ture. To her with sound soha I bow. And holding that prayer in mind, you visualize rays of light with nectar running down them like raindrops, running down a wire, emanating from Tara's left thumb and ring finger. The rays and nectar flow continuously, reaching you and all beings surrounding you, purifying your hindrances to practice, and the obscurations to liberation and enlightenment. Strongly hold that visualization in mind.
bringing to mind the problems, the obstacles, the sufferings of all of these countless sentient beings. Those affected by war, those tormented by negative mental states, their own jealousy, hatred. Thinking that these light rays and nectars completely extinguish these sufferings and their causes. We can join the visualization with recitation of Buddha mantra, thinking that with each recitation of the mantra, streams of tiny emanations of Tara pour forth from Tara's heart, absorbing into every sentient being and every sentient being becoming inseparably one with Buddha Tara. Um tare tu tare tu re so, 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 um tare tu
Um tare tu tare tu re so ha. And when you're ready, we'll come back together. We'll dedicate. Due to the merits of these virtuous actions, may I quickly attain the state of Bhattatara and lead all living beings without exception into that enlightened state. May the supreme jewel bodhicitta that has not arisen arise and grow, and may that which has arisen not diminish but increase more and more. In the snowy mountain paradise, you, the source of good and happiness, all powerful, Chenrezig, please remain until samsara ends. Thank you.